Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more for the king. And now we have our quest. So we have to kill the mine lord, purge the lich's crypt, and also we have to uh, solve the forgotten cellar. Now the crypt is right here, and it is a danger level five, so it's probably not quite as dangerous if we go over to. The, what is it called, the Mind Lord, also danger level 5. That's interesting, because in the last playthrough I did, the Mind Lord was a danger level 7. So, is that random? And then finally, we have the Rogue Isles. I actually, I'm not sure where that is, and I don't know if it marked it, actually, as, as much on the map. Yeah, see, I'm not getting... An arrow. I know it kind of showed it roughly where it was on the map, but it actually didn't uncover anything. And I think it was over here somewhere, but that's actually me guessing. So that's one of those things where I guess I have to find it. Now, danger level five. Ooh, what's this? Chaotic land. Crossing this train imparts a random effect. Interesting. I'm not sure we're ready to tackle a danger level 5. Danger level 2, danger level 3s, kind of we can tackle, although it's pretty dangerous. But 5, I don't think so. So, ideally I would like to do a, uh, a an attack of this minion here. It would draw in, if I just did a straight attack, it would uh, draw in the Forest Troll and the Rock, which is something I do not want to have happen. Because last time we had uh, that kind of opponents to fight, we lost a party member, and we can't afford to have that happen anymore. So, ideally we'd want to ambush the, the Bison Tor, and... I think I'm going to have to blow focus to do it, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to come over here. We're going to blow some focus to just get the, the bison tour by itself. Oh, okay. Killer bee swarm. Well, I can sneak and I only need one success. If I fail, uh, we can guarantee the death of Robin Hood, pretty much, because he would have to do that combat by himself. It would draw in... Well, it's probably already a swarm, so it's going to be three of them. Do we go the sneak route, or we go retreat and go from there? I really hate how often these enemies pop up. It seems like it happens all the time. And this area has been just rife with that. It just They, they keep doing that. I'm going to retreat here, and we're going to go around. All right, now we're going to do the the ambush attempt here. And I am going to blow at least one point of focus here. 79% chance of success. I think that's worth it. Of course we fail. So that means we're going to have three opponents. And I may just have to retreat here. Because this is, this is terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to retreat. I, I'm not going to have another party member lost, so... Let's retreat. The luck has been just terrible, in my opinion. We're gonna retreat. I might even burn a focus point, because uh, uh, not having a party member retreat would pretty much kill one of them, so I'm gonna have to blow a focus point for that. And I don't know when... Okay, good. And I'm gonna blow a focus point here, too. There we go. Alright, well that was a big waste of time. <sighs> yeah, okay. Sometimes the RNG factor of this game is very frustrating. We could try the combat again, but now I've taken a huge amount of damage for no benefit. And it's going to cost me huge amounts of gold to, to replenish my health. Alright, well I'm going to try for another ambush attempt here. And I'm going to blow another focus point. There we go, we got a success. Very annoying, but... Much better chance of success now. I'm going to have to go with the, the armor, ignore, which we managed to get. And then again, I'm not going to blow my party heal. We're going to go with the armor, ignore. This is a lot of successes to get a perfect on, which we didn't get, but still, six damage is pretty good. 
and not the and the amount of times that the AI gets perfect rolls, it seems a little outrageous, say the least. Well, we're gonna go ahead and just do a normal attack here. We didn't get a perfect roll, but between the other two party members, we really have a decent chance of killing this guy. There we go. And see, that's just tackling one level two minion so that we can level up. And that's how dangerous it can be. All right, so we've got an apprentice robe, which let's just compare here to other stuff we've got. So this gives us plus two strength and we would lose out in armor, but we would gain a lot in resistance and, and other areas. I mean, honestly, this is probably the most intelligent choice. Is equipping this and getting rid of the leather vest. Yeah, let's equip. Here. Alright, so we have one more movement point. I'm probably going to head into town because kind of need to at this point. Now, one thing that I'm not sure, we probably would draw the rock in with this combat. I would like to go after the forest troll, if at all possible, with uh, maybe Marion. Okay, so first things first, because I can sell items and the leather vest would be, I don't think, beneficial to anyone else, I am going to take a look at that. So, first off, Marion, you are wearing... Explorer's Cloak, which is better than the Leather Vest. I think we already kind of checked this, but I'm just confirming for sure. Yeah, so we don't need that item anymore, so we might as well sell it. And it gives us six gold. That's quite a lot. All things considered, though, it would have cost me, what, 30-something gold to buy? And maybe that is something that I did buy, so... There's that, too. And... I want to put myself in a position where I can do a combat with the troll. And actually, Will Scarlet, I don't know if the item you have still counts as arranged. No, it doesn't anymore. So I do have to be within the combat radius of the troll. So more than likely what I'm going to do is just move into a position where we're close to this so that maybe we can get it next turn. But we're also close enough that we can uh, attack one of these, the forest troll, and still be involved in combat. So I'm just going to end my turn here. I do have extra focus slots. I could burn my tinder pouch, and that would save Robin Hood having to spend gold in here. He could just rest and regain his health. I do need focus points back, though, so it's tempting to just hold off, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to end my turn here. Okay, we get a little bit of experience there. Really bad roll, but that's okay. Now, as much as I would like to rest in the town before doing this, because we do have damage on a couple of our party members, I think we're just better off doing this. I am going to have to blow a focus point to try and get the uh, ambush to, to stick. Matter of fact, we might not need to ambush at this point because I don't know where the rock went. And this is a camp. And nothing else is in range. So in theory, we shouldn't draw anything else unless there's some uh, mechanic where this is fog of war and we can't see the rock. I'm actually just going to do a normal fight just to see. Because I think burning focus here to ensure that we get a an ambush success... Although it might be valuable because we'd get an initiative bonus. I think just let's do a normal fight and see what happens. All right, so we didn't pull a rock. So obviously the rock is not there anymore to be drawn into combat. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the... Actually, matter of fact, he doesn't look like he has armor. So we'll just do a normal attack here. And it looks like, yeah, he doesn't have armor. So this guy, although he's danger level 2, he appears to be not really all that dangerous. So... Again, just do a normal attack. We almost get a perfect success there. And then if we roll at all well here, we should drop him. Okay, we were rolled well enough. Yeah, see... 
I just don't feel like <laughs> sometimes the balance of this game, I don't know if it is is correct or not. With you know, da danger level two. That troll was a lot easier than a bison tour, in my opinion. But I don't know. Maybe uh that was being the first time we fought one by itself. I don't know. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and uh move up this way. And I am going to want Will Scarlet to get this, so I, I am keeping that in mind. We could go and get a boat and see about that other location. I, I really think going after the crypt would be a bad idea. I think that's probably going to kill us. Matter of fact, I think the, the Mind Lord is actually probably a safer bet. Well, there is there any other dungeons that I'm aware of? Catacombs level four. A lot of the easier stuff is over here, so it might be worth coming over this way. You know, that used to be danger level two. Now it's danger level four. Hag still zero. We're going to have easier stuff over in this area. Maybe we go back over there and try and get our experience up in a safer way. So I'm going to move Robin Hood over in that direction. You may encounter enemies. Oh, or stuff to loot. Let's loot. Okay, Explorer's Hat. That's better than the old leather helm, for sure. Although we do lose an armor point. We also get evasion and awareness. Awareness being a stat that is good for us. And we also get Explorer's Boots, which is apparently better in every way than the Traveler's Boots. So let's go ahead and equip that. Get an energy boost, which gives us plus one movement. So I can get... Oh, okay, so test myself in the cavern. That's something I probably want to do. So we'll move over in that direction. Alright, so only four movement points. Luckily, we will get to the stone hero. We should get Will Scarlet kind of a little bit closer to the rest of the party. So that gives me full focus and plus 24 experience. Okay, now it's nighttime, so things are going to be more dangerous in general. And I'm just going to move this way. Trying to move over to the safer area. I'm actually curious. Looks like bone magicians have gone up in difficulty. The bear's still there. Eggs are still level zero. Okay, bat swarms are apparently not that difficult to deal with, although I have to keep in mind it's a swarm, so there's more of them, which is, is something that the, the game doesn't really take into account, the danger level of more than one opponent. Okay, we're good there. Okay, six movement. So I'm going to move and go to the cave here. This should be something that Robin Hood has a really high chance of succeeding at. Matter of fact, I'm not going to use any focus. Alright, we gained an item. We didn't get the treasure chest. Alright, composite bow. Let's compare. So, it's an upgrade to damage. That's definitely good. It requires more rolls, but we've already talked about the damage being good. Spread shot, new ability. We no longer have snipe shot. Pin down, same ability. So snipe shot is the thing that's allowing us to ignore armor. Spread shot, I have no idea what it does. We'll find out, but I have I have a, a suspicions on what it does. It's probably an area effect attack. And then we still get the same damage to flying opponents, and we still also get the same combat range. So I'm going to equip this over the short bow because I think it's a definite upgrade. Although I do like the snipe shot, we already have the ability to negate armor with Marion. At least I. think think we do, unless uh, the Pitchfork did remove that ability, but I don't think it did. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to eventually want to fight the War Bear. I might even be able to take it by myself if I ambush. I don't obviously want to fight the uh, Bone Bard along with it, though, so... Oh, we get an energy boost. So I could fight this, and it would be me and the Bone Bard 
and that's all. So I don't really want to do that just yet, but I think we can continue to move into the forest here. Okay, so Will Scarlet has four movement points, not really rolling particularly well on the movement uh, side of things. So I'm just going to move out down this way. We still have a sanctum to devote ourselves to for Will Scarlet, which we have yet to do. There is a town up here, might be worth going to. But I don't want to sp split my party up, if at all possible, so we'll go this way. Nope, oh, got an Inspire bonus. Okay, five movement points. Okay, we've got a stone circle. Glittering mines. And again, wishing well. Okay, there's a stone hero over there. All right, well, let's just go ahead and move down so that we're close to where Robin Hood is. Okay, so four movement points. This is Mind, which should be what Will Scarlet is best at. I would like to scout a little bit here, so I'm going to move over this way and see if we can find out about some of these other things that are going on. Although I do maybe want to be near where the, the war bear is when we get our other party members down here. So with that in mind, I may move around the war bear. Well, actually, if we move over here, we should be okay. So I'll move here. And get close to whatever this is. Now, because I am range combat, I might be okay if I move here as well. We'll find out. Another four movement points. That's unfortunate. Because that might not get me in range of the combat. I might have to do it with just Marion and and Robin Hood by themselves. Oh, I can use the uh, portal scroll. Create some magical portal to destination of your choosing. That would get me in closer. I've never used one of these, so I'm actually curious to do it. So I would like to move here. Okay, enter portal. So this is a, a temporary point that you get, allows you to go back and forth. And I want to go over to the stone circle. Okay, so we can attempt this. We can get a plus one max focus, plus four experience, or lose all focus. Well, I figure we might as well use at least one focus point to ensure our success chance is much higher. There we go. It's pretty good. And to put myself in a position that's close by where the war bear is going to be, I'm just going to move right there. Now it's Marion's turn. We should be able to get over there. Get into position to ambush the war bear. Doesn't really, I think, matter how I approach this. I am tempted to just do a normal non focus ambush, but considering how bad failure can be, I'm going to burn one focus point here and ambush. All right, so we got our success. So it, this should be an easy combat. All right, so the war bear does not have... Yeah, I do have that ability to ignore armor. It does not look like it has any armor, so I don't see a reason to use that ability. Okay, so as I thought, this is probably a area of effect attack, but we don't have more than one opponent, so we can't really see that. And that should drop the war bear. And we have a wooden round shield. So let's take a look. It is not any better, in my opinion, for Marion. And it's not really usable by anybody else. So let's just collect that for now. 
All right, we have one more movement point. I guess we might as well. There's a lot of things going on over here. I mean, in theory, Robin Hood can do all of those on his own, so... What gets me closer where I want to be, which is probably by where the hag is? Hmm. I guess it probably doesn't matter. Let's move that way. Okay, five movement points. And honestly, this is a good point, I think, to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner. Signing out.